Sudden Death is the Jean-Claude Van Damme mega hit blockbuster movie where he showed the world that not only is he the muscles from Brussels, but also the brain from Belgium and beats the living shit out of terrorists without using a single spin kick or doing the splits in mind-blowing ways. It starts off with Van Damme, who's a fire marshal, which makes sense because fire's crazy, not stupid. There is no chance it would ever f with him. Now these poor guys are having just the worst day. Not only do they get into this fender bender, is it bad? But they just lost their dog. Sorry, but my dog's missing. We're out here looking for him. And security are being total pricks about it. This might be good. Let me see your license. So they execute them. <laughs> Pets are family members. <laughs> You had that coming. We then see the terrorists who have some insane plan that involves automatic weapons, exploding penguins, but mostly a load of popcorn. You even have this guy making prank phone calls. You'll what? Burn my toast? <laughs> and you got to admit, that was pretty good. <laughs> With that kind of planning, they could take over literally any place in the entire world. Any place that is, except for wherever JCVD happens to be. And wouldn't you know it, that's exactly what they try to do. Holy sh! You guys are so fucked. The head terrorist is Curly Bill. And while he is the villain, you have to appreciate how he doesn't put up with stupid shit. He needs a doctor. <laughs> Not anymore. There are bombs everywhere, and he's going to blow it all to hell if he doesn't get his money. And I am gonna get it. No, you won't. Also, somehow this goddamn popcorn is really important to their plan. <laughs> Even with all that, I still feel like you're far safer in an arena taken over by terrorists and rigged with explosives but with Van Damme than literally anywhere else on the planet without Van Damme. Even the Secret Service tells everyone to chill the f out. Van Damme's in there. Shit, Negro, that's all you had to say. This is Van Damme's daughter. I'm pretty sure she's adopted because she's dumber than sh Shut up! Not only that, but when she goes to the bathroom, she acts like she's never seen a giant penguin take a sh before. Then she completely fucking freezes when she should be grabbing the legs. Since she can't be trusted and snitches get stitches, the penguin abducts her. Normally, that's the right call. But one, that's Van Damme's daughter, and two, she takes this feminist sh We got clearance on a Mr. Icy. Way too far. Mr. Icy's a woman jerk off. So the penguin takes her to Bill. What is this, a daycare center? Who finally says what we're all thinking. Would you like it if I filled your little mouth with spiders? If you weren't thinking that, then you're a fucking liar, because yes, you were. Who are you here with? My daddy, and he's a boss. F yeah, he is. What comes next is by far a top three of Van Damme versus giant female penguin in a commercial kitchen fight of all time. Van Damme goes fucking crazy on her, and after chopping the shit out of her face, he shoves pepper into her mouth eyes. 
and chokes the f out of her with a dishwasher. <laughs> While we've seen all that a dozen times before, I think he truly perfected it. He then tells a security guard about the giant penguin attack and that they need to get their sh** together. And in a crazy twist, it's the same guy from earlier. Sorry, but my dog's missing. His story ends tragically as the loss of his dog was too much to bear and he commits suicide by pulling a gun on Van Damme. Van Damme knows he doesn't mean it and that it's coming from a place of pain. My dog's missing. So he gives him a dignified death by stabbing a chicken bone in his fucking neck. Which is so badass. Van Damme then calls the Secret Service to let them know they're all a bunch of worthless pussies. What are you guys gonna do about it? And to stay the f out of his way. I'll find the bombs myself. Then the Secret Service jackass finds out the hard way. Do not try any kind of rescue. Do you understand me? You don't. Backtalk. Van Damme. So f that guy. Van Damme does what he wants and runs around disabling bombs while at the same time inventing high tech shit that he uses to completely wreck the terrorists like he's fucking Batman and somehow still finds time for his most important role as a father. What did you do? If a building is falling down around you, you don't move. Then it turns out the head of the Secret Service is working with the terrorists. You must be real proud. So Van Damme burns him alive with a fucking squirt gun. <laughs> when you're Van Damme, anything is possible. So he's disarming bombs, beating the shit out of terrorists, revolutionizing science, and yelling at his shitty kid you f***ed up when he decides all that isn't enough and enters the Stanley Cup as the f***ing goalie. I don't believe this. Well, believe it, dipsh**. And don't forget, there's not much time before the entire building explodes, but he gives zero f now the Blackhawks think they're up against one of the top goalies in the NHL. But as the are they're actually up against Jean-Claude Van Hoover Dam and have never been more fucked. <laughs> that has to be the save of the year. The Blackhawks tried to protest this, but ended up losing their case when they were unable to show where in the rule book it says Van Damme can't do that. Now that he's dominated the hockey world too, he figures he should probably get around to stopping those bombs, so he leaves the game the most awesome way possible. Fuck you. <laughs> You Canadian bitch. Van Damme then faces the moral dilemma of needing to take out this terrorist, but not wanting to ruin such an amazing shirt. So he only uses face shots as he lures him into a trap and takes him out with a fucking sewing machine. <laughs> Now he takes on another role, and with five seconds left in the game, he shows his coaching skills by running back to the ice and calling a play that immediately scores. That sends the game into sudden death, and the crowd loses its fucking mind because everyone loves it when you use the name of the movie. Sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden death. Sudden death in the movie. Now we get even more mind-blowing science shit where he mixes acids and bases before going full ninja and climbing the side of the arena. While doing that, he kicks motherfuckers to their deaths. Left and right. 
like this is fucking Sparta. Then we see why they call him Peter Pan Dam as he floats down to the scoreboard gracefully. The scoreboard is so excited to have Van Dam on it that it loses its fucking mind and just starts exploding. Just when you thought this couldn't get any more awesome, Van Dam starts playing real life pitfall <laughs> and then uses a fucking milk bomb to blow a hole in the owner's box. He then unleashes hell on earth and saves the vice president by murdering the f out of everyone. <laughs> oh yeah. Daddy! He saves her too. He uh, definitely remembered that she was in there. Speaking of his kids, where's your stupid brother? Are you shitting me? I didn't move. Not even the things blew up. I know that's what he said. If a building is falling down around you, you don't move. But it was an expression. What the f is wrong with you? Then his dumbass daughter gets kidnapped again. Daddy! He's in no mood for this. Shit's about to get real. So he does the only thing you can do when your son is the dumbest motherfucker on the planet and your daughter has to be getting kidnapped on purpose at this point. You get the f out of there and head to Thailand where those little shits can't bother you anymore and you can finally have some fun. Audiences were brought to tears by this powerful scene that has been scientifically proven to cure depression in literally everybody. While Van Damme was content to live out the rest of his days bringing joy to the world in this Thailand bar, he was reminded about this guy. You'll what? Burn my toast? <laughs> and set out to rid the world of that evil forever. So he tracks him down and he just happens to be at the same arena with Van Damme's daughter who was kidnapped six or seven times while he was in Thailand. The current kidnapper is this guy who's completely brand new. Van Damme does what Van Damme does and beats the holy hell out of him and turns out it was all a huge misunderstanding. I'm not gonna kill you. Okay, cool. I'd rather you spend the rest of your life remembering you couldn't save your little girl. She's a pain in the ass anyways. You're doing us all a favor. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Did he really just drop the gun? That pisses Van Dam off because he thought he was done with her shit. So he shoots Toast Man in his ugly pink shirt and then yanks down on the rope ladder while he's on it, which sends the helicopter crashing into the ice of the arena. Oh, Van Dam, you did it again. This is the story of sudden death, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. An awesome movie about karate and hockey, starring Jean-Claude Van Damme. Picture this, it's game seven, the Stanley Cup Finals, the Pittsburgh Penguins versus Chicago Blackhawks. Jean-Claude Van Damme's playing a lowly fire marshal who's there enjoying the game with his family. The vice president's there, also a group of terrorists. and. They break the Pittsburgh Civic Arena with bombs? Oh no! This is a story of sudden death start. John Cloud Van Damme. An awesome movie about karate and fighting. John Cloud Van Damme. So here's John Cloud Van Damme. The first terrorist he meets is a chick. She's dressed up in a penguin's uniform. 
meets her in the kitchen. Big fight sequence. And he kicks her into the dishwasher where she drowns and dies and is choked. Better tell security. Turns out the security guard also a terrorist. So John Claude Van Damme stabs him in the neck. This is a story of sudden death. Start John Claude Van Damme. A pretty awesome movie about terrorists and hockey. John Claude Van Damme. Oh no, so not John claude Van Damme's running around disabling bombs and the hockey game is still going on! So he goes and talks to the head of the Secret Service. Turns out he's one of the terrorists. So John claude Van Damme kills him. Then he mistakenly puts on a Penguins uniform and they think that he's the goalie. They push him out into the game where he has to play. Two seconds left, one second left. He blocks the shot, sending the game into sudden death. This is the story of sudden death starting. John Claude Van Damme, an awesome movie about terrorism in hockey. John Claude Van Damme. Then a terrorist falls to the scoreboard, landing on the ice, freaking everybody out. John Claude Van Damme climbs up to the VIP suite, where the vice president is still there with his kids. He has a big fight sequence. He kills some of the terrorists. But the main terrorist takes his daughter up onto the roof and tries to get her into a helicopter. And that's when John Claude Van Damme kills the pilot, takes his daughter, saves her, kills the terrorist, and the helicopter goes crashing down in through the stadium and lands on the ice. This was the story of sudden death with John Claude Van Damme. A topical story about patriotism, terrorism, and hockey. Oh, then, then.